Alrighty guys, as you can see, the Campus Legend packs are out today, so these are the people that you could get in them. I'm going to do a little of my own review on it, I guess you can say. So the overall review, uh, overall person you get after collecting all will be the Christian Lightner. So let's check out his stats. I haven't checked his stats out. Oh, 95 open 3. Wow. Dang. So this card is actually a pretty nice card. Good power forward. His rebounding is amazing as well. So this guy will be definitely good. Uh, a good add to your team man i feel like this card would be really good uh open mid range is nice uh the, of course the offensive dribble is not that great i don't know why i guess contest would be pretty good i thought he did take a dribble off of that game winning shot for uh is it duke or not? i think it was duke he went to duke but yeah so yeah he went to duke so yeah his game winning shot off of it with duke for the ch national championship speed isn't is pretty great is all right but it's a power forward too so it's probably a little bit faster power forward out there but he don't have that kind of uh, mid range and so on, so that's a pretty good card if you could get it. I I might I, I probably won't go for it unless somehow I'll, these videos get good uh, amount of likes and views. But other than that, I probably won't go for it because I need to spend money up for my wedding coming up. But let's go to the next one. So Carmelo Anthony, the one that everyone's been waiting for, the Diamond Mellow, which it's pretty great. Defending wise, is kind of weak. It's only 80 defense, so you can see defense isn't the greatest. Rebounding. Dang, offensive rebound is pretty sad. 145, that's pretty sad. But overall, this was when he was on um, basically 19 years old, basically, uh, basically straight out of college, pretty much, I guess you can say. But they gave him pretty good overall stats. That was pretty good. Uh, can't really complain, I guess, about it. He gives a 97.3, which with the cheesy shot is pretty great. But the card I really want to get is Jimmer for Dead. Jimmer for Dead's the main card I want to get. I. You will see if I'll be able to get them in the uh, packs over. If I don't, oh well, I probably will try to just buy them straight up. Don't know if he'll actually be going for that much because he is, I think, the lowest diamond at 94. Uh, so yeah, but his three is 98, and he gets the these uh, uh, Hall of Fame badges. Got catch and shoot, corner specialist, deep range, dead eye, and limitless range. So I feel like this card would be just as good as that uh, Tracy McGrady card. Uh, people were shooting the deep range threes with so I feel like this would be just as good but his shot might be a little I don't know I like his shot form in my opinion in the, in the video games but I don't know how I don't, I don't know how it's going to be this year but his past few years always been pretty good so we'll see if they actually work pretty good for him defensive wise he's about the same as mellow defensive wise 85 overall though so maybe a little bit better but rebounding is where it goes down for him uh since he is a point guard, so everybody ain't going to be that good. But his uh, playmaking is pretty great. And athleticism is pretty nice, too. So, can't really complain too much about it. Uh, I, I like the card. I actually think this is a great card. Would definitely make it in my, my team online if I get it. And the next card that I want to get is Buddy Hield. This card is pretty awesome. 97 open threes. 895 open mid-range. 91 overall. Inside scoring is not that great. Defense is really lacking, too. But the rebounding goes up a little bit there. Uh, he is a shooting guard, so him and Jim for death feel like would be a great combo to have coming off my bench. Uh, even though I do have my point guard sets already, but that's fine. I'll take out some of the... I think I have two extra power forwards I can get rid of, maybe. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure the lineup out if I do actually get these guys. But Buddy Hill would have to go down quite a bit right now. I think he was like 50k or something like that. Uh, maybe a little bit more like 60k. But maybe he might be down a little bit after that. But we'll see. The only other person... It isn't too bad, I feel like, would be Doug or Shane Battier. Shane Battier, he was a good defender, so that's why his defense is going His defense is going to be his main thing. Scoring-wise, he was an okay shooter. Did hit some clutch dudes for the Heat in Game 7. But that did help out, but rebounding is pretty sad. I felt like he was a better rebounder than that, especially in college. Because him and Carlos Boozer were beasts. But yeah, so Bill Walton and them. So overall, I feel like Jimmy Fredette was the main diamond to go for other than that i want buddy Hield and carmel anthony anthony i won't be able to get out of the mt so hopefully i can pull them from the packs if not well i'm out of luck because i'm done with pack openings man unless somehow i could get some money somewhere dude because like i said before i don't have a job right now so right now i can't really do any pack openings i did some uh recently just because of the spurs ones i had to do it for my spurs so i did those but I just did the do the ones today, try to get these out of the way, and then I'll just 
do what I have and play some ITM online, you know, and hope for the best of the MT wise. So, anyways, guys, hope you enjoy the video. Do I don't want to go through all the people? Don't really, it's not really that important for me, in my opinion. None of them are actually good. The rubies are rubies, so of course you will get butt load of those amethysts. I mean, Doug McDermott is lower three point shooting than what I thought he should be. If you want to see, I just ended off like that. See, 95. I think it should be like a 97, same as Melo, in my opinion. Uh, but overall, can't really complain. I guess you could say the getting new cards, so it's a better version of the ones we already have. So that's good. So, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Stay tuned for the pack opening. Take care. Peace.